Okay, today's simulator flight uh, will be from uh, Belmar, New Jersey to JFK. And we're flying a uh, 1975 B-58. Actually, it's a newer one. So it's an after-1992 B-58 model, Baron. And uh, we're going to go in VFR conditions on an IFR uh, route. So, uh, this is a GTN 750 right here. We're going to find the nearest airports, BLM, put that in. And we're going to go nearest, JFK. It is 31 miles away. We're down south of New Jersey. We're going to be heading north. So, that's fine, so up there. Two, uh, zero, 043 degrees is our desired heading. So, set that on GFI. I'll put the heading bug to. Uh, To runway heading, taking off on uh, runway uh, 14 at uh, Belmar. We'll be flying right over Lake Ocean Grove, New Jersey, Belmar, New Jersey beaches. And let's pick an approach while we're on the ground. So we'll load a procedure, approach, and let's just land straight up to the north. So whatever a good north runway would be. And uh, we'll go over to four flight. Zero 04 would be good. On my four flight, you can see here, we will do, we'll set the trip up to go to the map, map page, go up here, flight plan, clear, clear all, K, B, L, M, enter, K, J, F, K, enter, perfect, and procedure. Approach and see. Looks like four left would be a good one. So let's do the RNAV four left. Okay, they don't have the RNAV four left. It's more of a VOR four left. Okay, here it is. RNAV Zulu four left. Got it. We'll add that to the route. We'll we'll go right to the initial approach fix of Repri, and it's in the flight plan. And we'll take the chart off the map. I don't like the chart on the map. Hide plate, and we'll go back out. So we're going to be heading northeast to, and then we'll go over to plates. K, J, F, K, and we want that, Oop, got that, and we'll hit procedure, approach, and we'll do RNAV, Zulu, four left, RNAV, Zulu four left, got that plate in there. So we'll climb up to 2,000 feet, right here. 2,000 feet to right here. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna set on my autopilot, a climb at 1,000 feet a minute, and we're gonna set 2,000 feet as our top altitude for this trip. Run up is complete, boost pumps are off on the Baron, landing light is on. Everything's good. Brake is off. And here we go. Full throttle over here. Stay in the center line. If we have an engine failure on takeoff or on the runway, we'll pull the power and stop on the runway. If we have rotated, but before the gear is either in transit or up, we will pull the power and land on the remaining runway. Once the gear is up, or in transit up, we will do the drill, which is pitch to blue line, mixtures, props, throttles, flaps up, gear up. Identify, verify, feather, mixture idle cutoff, raise the dead, fly the airplane, and land as soon as practicable. All right, uh, we are rotating. Took the whole runway because my trim wasn't set. Did screw that up, but we are off. 
we rotate in this airplane about uh, 90 knots, a little bit above red line. And then I get to blue line immediately. And here we are, climbing out. Okay, gear up. Yeah, I, I have like so much down trim, it's crazy. All right, we're gonna do a 500 foot a minute climb just to keep the nose down so we can see some stuff. And we will climb to 2,000 feet. Arm that. And four left. Arm on. And nav. We will turn left. Alright, we're going to have to go four left Yankee because my G GPS doesn't have it in here. So that looks like the same thing almost. So we are going to hit nav mode. And we're going to pull the prop power back. 25, 25 for the climb. Which is right here. 2500 RPMs, 25 inches of manifold pressure. Okay. Stop the sink the propeller, put the prop sink on, and back to the map, map, and desired track is 33 degrees, it's 30, 1, 2, 3, heading bug over here, cow flaps are open, landing light is off, climb check complete, And I'm going to switch on my four flight, uh, the approach to the Yankee. So we're going to go four, RNAV four left Yankee. And we're still going to reparate, which is fine. Okay? 2,000 still are out of two, so all good. And I hit the plate on here too, so I can get rid of the chart on the map. Done. Zoom in a little bit. Yeah. Okay, we're coming up on Long Branch, New Jersey. We're going to come right out over the coast at Long Branch. Things are moving right along. Zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. And this is my setup over here. I've got the radio stack, I have the throttle quadrant. This is an elite flight sim. Flyelite.com. I don't work for them, by the way. But this is how I stay sharp. Sharper. Okay, we are level at 2000. I'm going to pull the power back to 22 inches. No reason to get going too fast. Short trip. I'm going to pull the prop back to 23. So 22 23 is what I'm going to do. The props. And I'm going to lean the mixture to about 12 gallons a side. Make it. 12 gallons there, 12 gallons there, and that's good. And I'm going to cut, close the cow flaps, and the cow flaps are being closed. Cow flaps closed. All right, cruise checklist complete. Coming out over Long Branch, the Sandy Hook Bay is out to the left. I can see the Veranzano Bridge. Pretty good visuals on this thing. Right there is the Veranzano Narrows Bridge. 
This is Sandy Hook Bay. There's a lot of old fortifications along this right here. Whenever I flew over uh, a couple years ago, my skyline really low, did the uh, New York City tour. Okay, ADIS is 128725. We'll put that on COM2. 128725. Listen to ADIS. Got it. Alright, so we are seven miles to our initial approach fix. So that means I'm going to slow it down. So the Baron, I'm going to bring it back to, uh, you know, if it was turbocharged, I'd bring it back to inches, but I'm going to bring it back the whole way to 18, so from 22 to 18 inches of manifold pressure, starting to slow it down. I need to be below 153 to do the first notch of flaps, which is approach flaps, and the gear down. And you can see that on the airspeed indicator by this white little triangle. Okay, beacon on, and So, I am going to approach, activate approach, we're activated, I'm going to go on my autopilot, hit approach mode, approach mode is on, after uh, the initial approach fix of Repri, I turn to a heading of 044 degrees, and the sand of 1,500 feet. All right. Beautiful day in New York City. Here's the city skyline right there. Let me show you. There's the city, and there's the Baranzano Narrows Bridge, and back to the city. So my idea with this channel that I'm in my head is that people can put in remarks any approach in the United States they want me to fly, and I can do it. There's an air airplane landing at JFK right now. Coming in low. Okay, so at this situation, I'm going to drop, I'm going to manually descend to 1500 feet. It's telling me right here in, four, in six, four seconds, turn to four, four, zero, four, four. So I'm going to start my descent and I'm turning to zero, four, four degrees. And there it is. And I'm going to level off at 1500 feet. Arm. Okay, that's what we're doing. Coming in. And you can see on four flight, I am geo referenced. I'm on the chart now, uh, right there. Coming in. Okay, leveling off at 1500 feet. And it's six and a half miles from Repri to Crestal, which is the final approach fix. And that's where I glide slope intercept. Or uh, it's not an ILS, it's an RNAV, so I have a vertical descent. You can see right here, my glide slope is on, is active. Okay. Bring it back to 17 inches of manifold pressure on that descent um, from 2000 to 1500. I got faster than the gear retraction or gear extension speed, flap speed, so that's what happens. So, uh, you know, typically on a non precision approach, which anything other than an ILS is a, considered a non precision approach, is what my Sierra CSIP instructor told me, so two miles before the final approach fix, uh, I would put the gear down and the approach flaps 
uh, into approach flaps. On a ILS, you know, whenever the bar is halfway down, I would put the flaps and, and gear up. So, gear coming down below the 153 and approach flaps. Okay? Keep the power where it is, and the aircraft's going to slow to around 120. Okay, and you see the glide slope, vertical nav is coming down right here. The two gold bars on the side is the glide slope, and I'm on course, which is on an ILS will be localizer. But this is an R nav, Yankee. Okay, so I've been trained to fly a strictly by the numbers, so uh, once I have glide slope intercept, we're gonna the airplane will pitch down and that will be in ten seconds. And you can see there's runways coming. Alright, so now we are starting our descent. I will pull the power back to 15 inches of manifold pressure so we don't overspeed. And we are coming down. So gas on the proper tanks. We only have two tanks. They're both good. Mixtures full rich. Props and flaps to go. Verify three green. Verified. Everything looks good. Two mile final. Zero four left. There's the outer marker. And we are coming down. We just flew over Rockaway Beach. We are now in the Gateway National Recreation Area. Jamaica, New York is off to our left. Coast Guard and New York City Police. 500 feet. And we are at 400 feet, and our minimums are 232. So 400 for 232. <coughs> And there's 232, so this is what it would look like if we were on an actual approach. And is there somebody on the runway? Son of a bitch. There is an airplane on the runway right there. Baron 42364, go around. Props. Throttles. You guys see that? Right there. A little 717 or DC9 or MD80. Just turned off. So that sucks. So what we're gonna do now is hit activate mist approach. Unsuspend. And mist approach is probably gonna go up to like three thousand. Straight ahead. Heading mode. Okay. Mr. Approach, straight ahead to 3000, direct to BARJR and hold. Okay, so we're coming up on BARJR. Save the engine a little bit, pull that back. Okay. So I'm not going to do that. We're going to go fly the Hudson River. So we're going to take that off and fly over here. Go take it to the New York City tour. And then we'll go land at Westchester. Here's a good picture of JFK. I didn't like that. Air 
plane on the runway. That was no good. It's the tower. So let's do altitude hold, autopilot, and heading there. Okay, let's go right over the Barons Auto Bridge. So a couple miles to the Veranzano Bridge. Forgot to put the gear up and forgot to put approach flaps up. We never had landing flaps on, so now we're going to speed up. Keep going here. That's why whenever you lose an engine, you always do the drill. Doug Rosendahl's opinion. Because a lot of times you will forget putting the gear up whenever you get busy. Nothing makes you more busy whenever you're doing uh, video production. Okay. There is the Veranzano Narrows Bridge. And over here is Statue of Liberty somewhere. Can't see it yet. Alright. So we're going to not go over that. We're going to turn right, start up the Hudson. graphics on this simulator are great. The graphics are designed by Lockheed Martin, which is pretty good. So I want to descend to under a thousand feet for the Hudson River Corridor. So I'm going to start a descent down 500 foot a minute and I want to go down below a thousand. 800 feet is where I'm going to go. Do we go up the East River? No. Because I remember that I think it was a Yankees uh, pitcher and his instructor flew into one of the buildings there because it's a lot tighter than you would like. And there's the Statue of Liberty right here. Love to hear the comments on how people like this flight sim, and it's pretty spectacular. I have not an insignificant amount of money invested in it. There she is. There's the lady. The weather forecast is supposed to be getting rain, that's what I heard. Maybe we should be expecting some rain. But there's the, there's the lady, I'm going to turn right up the Hudson. <coughs> Excuse me. Governor's Island, where my wife's family came into the country, grandparents. Yes, yes, I understand. Uh, there's a cruise ship. Right. 
cruise ship, Empire State Building. There are no obstacles ahead I'm in the middle of the river. That should be on the right side. So check this out. I can change the weather. You guys want some rain? Shall we do some uh, few clouds? Broken clouds? Overcast at 2,000 feet? Let's do some rain. Let's go uh, five miles biz. <coughs> Look at that. I wouldn't be doing that five mile biz. But here's the, that's one mile biz. Woo! Half mile biz and clear. Back to clear. And where's the rain? Where's the rain? Visibility. We got rain. Let's go snow and moderate. So now it's snowing, and then we can go dense snow. Dense snow. Yes, yes. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get over the GW Bridge in Westchester. What is the Westchester Airport's intent? It's like HPN, I think. New Rochelle. Yeah. So we're going to fly to, to HPN, Westchester County, and do an ILS approach, hopefully, into there where an RF. I like flying RF. Okay, let's climb. 500 feet a minute. Engage. We'll go up to 3,000 feet. Okay. And we'll do a uh, approach into Westchester. White Plains. Details. Procedure. Approach. Let's do the Arno Zulu. No, let's go. Uh, let's do the Arno Zulu 3 4, but let's see what this has in here. HPN go direct activate. Okay, let's start our nav navigation over to that. Okay, I think the clouds. We're going to activate our uh, IFR. So we're, I just talked to everybody. We're activating IFR, so we're not doing this illegally. And now HPN. Let's see, load procedures, approach. Okay, we have the RNAV 34 Yankee. Let's do that. Let's see, we have RNAV 34 Yankee over here. Approach. RNAV 34 Yankee, got it. Here it is. RNAV 34 Yankee, got it. And we are going to go. To Islet, I believe. Is Islet? What is Islet? Islet. So we should probably go Jet X. I say Islet. Islet's not in here, so let's just do vectors. I'll vector myself.
Let approach activate. Okay. So isolate. So I'm going to turn heading bug on, and we're going to turn to the east so we can get outside the gate, so to speak. And we continue our climb. Pedo heat is on. Cow flaps are closed. Landing light is off. Now we're going to IFR into the clouds, into the soup. So we are now definitely in the soup, and we need to climb to 2,000 feet, not 3,000 feet. So we got to descend a little bit. That's fine. Okay. And I've got to vector myself outside of Iceland a little more to the right. I'm going to go more east. Maybe come in over the sound. Okay, that's what my plan is. And the inbound course. The inbound course from where am I? That oh, right here. 343 from Jet X to Islet. My goal is to come in out here. So we got to prepare to turn to 343. I'm going to turn a little more to the right. So my vector is 100. I'm going to pull the power way back. Get this thing slowed down. I'm going almost 200. 180. So there's 19 inches of manifold pressure. 18. There's 18 inches. Okay. There we go, that's looking good. And let's make the weather really bad at Westchester so you can see what it looks like when you pop out and the runway is right there. So, for flight, the, uh, the airport elevation's 439, touchdown zone's 401. Minimums are 723 on this approach. So, we can make uh, 800 feet the weather. So I go over here to my Sim Control X weather. Come on. Call me a liar. Start it back up again. Connect to my Sim. What I say? And four flight. I want to turn to 343 here in a second. So we want 343 in here. 330, 340, 1, 2, 3. Pull back the power to 17 inches of manifold pressure. Okay. And I'm going to vector myself. Uh, Baron 4364, turn left heading 060. Maintain 2000, cleared for the RNAV 34 Yankee into Westchester. Cleared for the approach 34 Westchester. Baron 4364, turn heading 020 till established. Okay, coming in, approach mode. Brought myself, I vectored myself a little tight there, if anybody can tell. We shot right through the localizer. That's okay. We'll come back around. Sim control X, got that. Time and weather. Okay, we want, uh, let's go five mile viz. And low clouds, 800. All right, now it's, now it's intense. Okay. This will be fun. Back to four flight. And you can see where we are right now, right here, coming into the isolet. Okay, we're below gear speed. That's good. 
We're 1.2 miles to Islet, which means I am going to put out my gear and flaps. Yeah, we had to be at 1400 at Islet. Gas, mixture, props, weight. Baron doesn't do fuel pumps on takeoff or landing. Okay, and we are two mile final. Two mile final. Three, four. Landing light on. Okay, we're 1,000 feet for 723 feet, our mids. 500 to go. Okay, there's seven, 800, and here's 723, and the airport just pops right out. How about that? That ain't bad. Okay. I put in, in landing flaps. I believe we have the runway made. So landing flaps go in. Autopilot goes off. Keep the descent in. Really snowing. Level out. And pull the power. Keep the center line. There we go. On center line. Welcome to Westchester County Airport, everyone. And brakes. And that's my practice flights for today. And I'm going to get to work. I can do my other job. My, my, my real job. Thank you for flying along with me. I hope you enjoyed it. So that was a RNAV into JFK, from, and we flew from Belmar to JFK, the Hudson River Valley visual tour, and then to uh, White Plains, New York, Westchester County Airport for the RNAV 3-4, and a Baron B-58. Cheers. Pretty cool visuals. It's uh, three 32-inch curved flat screens, 23-inch flat screen uh, touch screen. And this one is not touch screen over here, it's just a regular monitor. So I gotta quit and then shut down all. And then I have my iPad, which is such a great invention. Love it. Let's see. That's it. And signing off. Cheers.